with the housing market constantly in the headlines and conflicting reports everywhere you turn, it's no surprise that many of us feel uncertain. Today, we are cutting through the noise to dive into our local market, specifically how the Treasure Valley performed in October. We'll also explore what's on the horizon from mortgage rates to home prices. So if you are seeking clarity, stick around as we explore our local housing market together. 952 homes listed for sale in Ada County in October, representing a 9% increase compared to the same period last year and a 3% uptick from the previous month. The median listing price for these homes stood at $554,000, reflecting a 2% decrease from last year, but a 2% increase from the previous month. The inventory of available homes has notably dwindled over the past year, with 2,393 homes on the market this time last year, compared to the current 1,762 available homes. In Canyon County, we listed 462 homes for sale in October, marking a 6% increase year-over-year year and a 2% increase from the previous month. The median listing price for these homes held steady at $430,000, remaining unchanged from last year but decreasing by 4% compared to the previous month. The total number of available homes in Canyon County is also significantly lower, with just 910 homes available currently, representing a 30% decrease compared to this time last year. Turning our attention to pending homes, Ada County saw 660 homes go under contract in October, representing a 9% decrease compared to the previous year and an 8% decrease from the previous month. The median number of days it took for these homes to go under contract was 33 days last October, 28 days this September and 26 days this October. In Canyon County, 293 offers were accepted in October, indicating a 15% decrease compared to the previous year and a 17% decrease from the previous month. The median number of days it took for homes to go under contract in Canyon County was 43 days last year, 25 days in September of this year and 24 days in October. Homes are still selling in approximately a month. Lastly, let's take a look at the numbers for sold homes. In Ada County, 607 homes were sold and closed in October, marking a 21% decrease in sales compared to the previous year and a 9% decrease month over month. In October, the median sales price for these homes stood at $515,000, showing a 4% decline compared to the previous year, and it remained unchanged from the previous month. The median home price in Ada County has seen a 12% decrease from its peak in May of 2022, when it stood at $586,000. In Canyon County, a total of 343 buyers closed on their homes in October, reflecting a 13% decrease compared to the previous year and an 18% decrease compared to September. The median sales price for these homes was $399,000, indicating a 4% decrease year over year, and it decreased 2% month over month. Canyon County's home prices reached their highest point in April of 2022, with a median price of $460,000. Since that time, they have dropped by roughly 13%. High home prices and mortgage rates at 7% have made it challenging for many potential home buyers to enter the current housing market. A survey done this last spring revealed that about two thirds of home buyers were waiting for mortgage rates to decrease before buying a home. However, since then, as we know, rates have actually gone up a lot more and home prices haven't gotten much better. Even if mortgage rates do eventually decline, it will lead to increased demand from home buyers. The number of mortgage applications jump every single time rates are lower. Nonetheless, housing market trends still follow a seasonal pattern with increased activity during the spring and summer months 
and decreased activity in the fall and winter. As we approach the end of the year, hopefully we'll see mortgage rates decrease and home prices tend to be more affordable during off-season. For buyers, the fall and winter months may offer better value and a less competitive environment for finding the right home. Additionally, those looking for homes may encounter less competition in the new home construction market, where builders may be more willing to negotiate on prices or offer other incentives to close deals despite new construction homes typically being more expensive than resale homes. Corey Barton, Hubble Homes, Lennar and others are offering some serious incentives that can sweeten that pot. At the start of 2023, economists predicted that mortgage rates would gradually decline throughout the year. Instead, rates went up above 8%. Over the last few days, however, mortgage rates have gotten much better. The 30-year fixed-rate mortgage dropped to the mid-sevens, and this drop was actually one of the biggest improvements we've seen over 10 years. Experts expect rates to decline further, but treat that prediction with a bit of skepticism. Back in July 1973, the 30-year mortgage rate went about 8%, and it stayed high for more than 19 years. So, if someone got a mortgage in July of 1973, they had to wait more than 20 years to see rates low enough to make refinancing a good idea. The lesson here is that nobody really knows what will happen with the economy in the long run. So, get a mortgage that you can comfortably handle each month instead of taking a big risk by expecting to refinance soon. Of course, we can still hope that the experts are right and interest rates will be much lower in a year from now. Now let's take a look at what's up with homeowners who would like to make a move. Most homeowners currently enjoying very low mortgage interest rates. In fact, around 9 out of 10 have rates below 6% and about a quarter of them have rates below 3%. However, if they decide to sell their current home and buy a new one, they would have to secure a new mortgage with rates significantly higher than 6%. This situation makes many sellers think twice because they don't want to handle the burden of higher no. mortgage rates. No, 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 hell no. And for some, it's financially challenging or outright impossible. So they tend to hold off on selling unless rates drop further. In my experience, homeowners who have substantial equity in their current homes and only need a small loan for their next purchase are more inclined to sell in this market. For them, the difference in interest rates doesn't result in a significant increase in expenses. And of course, homeowners who have paid off their mortgages and own their homes outright aren't really affected by interest rates. And, interestingly, this group represents a significant chunk of homeowners. About 38% of homeowners across the US enjoy the freedom of being mortgage-free. As we navigate the housing market's twists and turns, it's clear that decisions for both buyers and sellers are influenced by various factors. While the path of interest rates ahead is uncertain, it is crucial for those considering a move or a home purchase to assess their unique financial situations, seek professional advice, and keep a close eye on market trends. So there you have it. I hope you found this update helpful and informative. If you have any questions or just want to chat, just drop me a line or give me a call. My name is Judith Grace, and I tell you all this because in the world of real estate, Having the right information is your key to success.